Hello everyone, it's time to talk Bison Wrestling. The season is well underway. We have a duel in the Bison Open under our belts. We're going to talk about that and also set up a big duel against Purdue. Uh, my name is Jeremy Jorgensen, joined by head coach Roger Kish. And it's a fun, fun time of year, isn't it, coach? Uh, the season is underway. Uh, you got a few things under your belt already, a, a duel and the Bison Open. You got to feel pretty good about your guys right now. Yeah, it, uh, it's always nice to get, get started off the right way. We, we were able to accomplish that uh, when Bakerfield uh, came to town and then followed it up with a great event here at the Bison Open and uh, really, really pleased with where we're at. You know, the Bakersfield duel was 24-9, uh, an old friend comes back to yeah. town. That was kind of an interesting day, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, and it's, it's good. In, in Bakersfield, they got a really good team there, and they wrestle yeah. extremely hard. And uh, it, was, it was fun to get started off with, with Bakersfield and, and have our, our, our old colleague and uh, friend of ours uh, back in town. And, and they did a great job, and uh, we, we were excited to get away uh, with a win there. Well, the Bison Open is always a big event. Uh, lots of teams here, lots of great wrestlers, good competition. And all in all, you came away with four champions. Uh, did a very good job, and uh, the guys uh, wrestled hard. Give us your take on the Bison Open. Yeah, you know, so it's the, the Bison Open is, has been such a, a staple for North Dakota State Wrestling, and it's a really a, a way for us to, to kick off the uh, season and, and really analyze where we are as a whole. And we were really fortunate to have some really talented uh, athletes come in and join us and participate in the event this year. Um, some, some good teams and uh, really, really happy to see where our, our older and experienced guys are and, and ultimately an opportunity to kind of see where, where our young guys are. So a uh, great opportunity for us to, to see where we're at and, and, and start analyzing uh, you know, the things that we need to work on as a whole. Andrew Fogarty and Cordell Eaton both won the event for the fourth time. That's a great accomplishment, isn't it? Yeah, these guys have really done a great job uh, and, and these are leaders and captains and uh, They've, they've, been, they've been big parts of this program in the building phases, so yeah, they, they certainly earned it. 157, 165, 197 in heavyweight were the champions. Uh, just talk about some of the individual weights, a couple of uh, weights. Uh, you had two guys in there as well yeah. and guys competing and uh, two finalists in one. Yeah, well, I, I think starting at 157 would be a great place. Uh, Jared Franick did a really nice job. Um, you know, he, he probably was in one of the ch most challenging weight classes in the in the tournament. So to see him have a, a lot of close matches, find ways to win tight matches was was really something special out of a young guy. So really, really excited about his performance and, and really what his future holds. Uh, and then you look at a guy like Brandon Metz, who's really spent a, a big part of his summer changing who he was and, and changing his 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 weight and his shape and and he, he really spent a lot of time focusing on his cardio and uh, it, it it showed right he paid uh, paid dividends here this week and he went out he wrestled some tough opponents and uh, you know he looked like he was in great shape out there. Yeah, no doubt. Big event coming up this week. Yeah. Uh, Purdue is coming into town for a duel. Bison Nation, we need you out there. Uh, I think an environment and crowd makes a big, big difference, and Purdue has a good club, don't they? Yeah, I tell you what, they, uh, you know, uh, the Big Ten is traditionally uh, very, very strong in wrestling, and Purdue is, is one of those programs. So they're, uh, they're very talented. They're going to come out here Sunday, 1 o'clock, and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a battle. And the crowd does make a difference, doesn't it, for the it's, guys, the environment, and uh, you know, I think they feed off of it a little bit, don't they? It's a big, it's a big difference. So whenever we can pack the uh, arena and, and provide a great environment for these, these kids and the excitement, uh, it, it certainly helps. Yep, Beck TV, uh, Flow Sports as well. We're going to have you all covered for this week. It's going to be a great event. Best of luck to you and the guys. It's fun to have the season started, Coach. Thank you. All right, we'll see you next time, and we'll recap that Purdue duel. Have a great week, everyone.